What's going on, YouTube people? It's Jimmy C. I'm doing uh, my boy Big Easy's comics contest. It's your boy Big Easy. I tell you, hands down, I think he's got the greatest, uh, you know, catchphrase going right now. I don't care for the domino falling intro, um, but definitely his tagline and catchphrase when he starts speaking is great. But who am I to judge? I can't even make an intro. I'm lucky I could put two videos together. He should do, and we actually spoke about it, he should play Road Dogg's intro music. If you guys WWE fans, I think that would be great. Play Road Dogg or a little X-Pac or Degeneration X and kick it off. Um, so maybe he'll do it one day and surprise us. Anyway, he wanted us to do, uh, so I'm going to do his contest entry and then I got a little, I don't know, not tidbit or, uh, it's not advice, but it's something people should do if, uh, well, I'll get to that later. Anyway, his contest, he wants to show what we're going to get slabbed. So I got the She-Hulk, I don't know, I got it a while ago. I might get it slabbed, it's a 9.4. It's probably 9.294, so I don't know if I want to. I might just sell it raw. These two are definitely getting slabbed. It's not like they're worth money. They're just awesome cover swipes. Speaking of wrestling, got the Hulk Hogan cover swipes. Uh, I got two of them. I had three. I gave the Judas one back when he... Pre-Judas. Pre his pre-Judas days, he got one. Um, it's so great. It's the Secret Wars 8 cover swipes. Hulk Hogan, NWO, and the Hulkamania. I'm, I'm hoping they pull 9 eights. I might actually... I forget what the word is, but you can send books in, and uh, if they don't come back, uh, whatever grade you want or higher, they won't they won't grade them, and they, but they'll charge you like two, two, three, four, five dollars a book. I forget what, how much they cost, but you know certain books, if they're new books and they don't hit the nine eight, and you're looking to sell them or just you want the nine eight, and if you get a nine four or nine six, it drives you nuts like me. It's worth it. Pay an extra three, four dollars. You're saving money because they're not going to grade it, but they still hit you with a penalty. Uh, like, I'm going to do that with this Carnage book. I think this Carnage is a 9.8 all day. If it doesn't come back a 9.8, I don't want it graded. Um, so I'm going to do that in my next batch. This, I'm going to drop off with CBCS, probably in Big Apple Con or East Coast Comic Con, whichever one they're at. A, I got the $20 coupon from way back when from them. And B, I got it triple signed, so I, uh, you know, I have to go with them. Larry Hama, DeFalco, and the late Trimpy. This book, I'm probably gonna, this book I got only for 15 bucks. It was super wavy. I got it pressed. I'd say it's about a seven, seven five. So I'm gonna get it graded. I mean, it's decent. Um, you know, bronze you really want eight and a half or better, really in the nines. But you know, it's significant. It might, it's it's gonna pick up closer to the movie. So uh, I'll probably get it slabbed. This book. Oh my god, I grabbed this book for $12. I couldn't believe it because the guy is usually on point and he knows what he has. So, like, that's the thrill of... Half the thrill of hunting is for me is when guys know what they're doing, uh, dealers-wise. You hunt even harder. And he had this book priced for $12. So I bought it and then I grimaced. I said, shit, let me check it. It's got to be, like, a page missing or something because the guy's no... The guy's no dummy. But no, it's good to go. There's one little flap here creased. But other than that, first Moon Dragon. Classic, iconic battle cover. Uh, just a great book. You know, the issue before Thanos and all that stuff. 8-0 uh, all day, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm banking on. Beautiful. For $12 too. Just book raw. I don't know. It's 50 to a $75 book, I'd uh, guess, off the top of my head. Probably, I'm going to get these two. Like, these two, I want the 9 eights. I don't think I'm going to get it. But you don't see this book often. I got two of them. I grabbed one from Zap. Zap Comics, you guys know. So I got two of them. They're they're good. They're in the nines. Nine two bad bad day. I, I would say they're nine four nine sixes. If I get a nine eight, it'll be a Christmas miracle. But hey, you never know. And then last but not least, uh, I just picked this up. I just showed it. But the more I look at it, this is an eight zero. Oh. Bad day seven five. Good day eight zero oh or better for a a silver age book with a key villain appearance. And I think it's the I think it's the origin of in humans. I, I'm not sure, but it's definitely Wrecker's first appearance. I said, screw it. Why would I not get this graded? It's not like you see 80 uh, Thor 148s all the time. So I said I'm gonna do that. So Biggie's comics, keep doing what you're doing. The guy's got great enthusiasm and passion for comics, so it really comes through in his videos, and I just love that when I watch him. Um, so uh, what I wanted to talk about. So GPA analysis. Basically, if, for, if you guys who don't know what GPA analysis is. It's a record of every book bought and sold that they can track 
uh, for CGC books only, not CBCS or PGX or anything, but only CGC. So it gives you like a bearing of what your books are worth. If you're looking to buy or sell a CGC graded book, it tells you the 90 day average, the one, the 12 month average, the last sale, everything. And it's specific. It breaks down, uh, you know, qualified, if it's signed by somebody, so on and so forth. Anyway, it's about $11 a month. Uh, you know, not, not, you know, not the end of the world, but you know, it's $120 a year pretty much. So what I suggest people do, like, you know, it's a good guideline to know, especially if you're buying and selling and you know, you got to be in the know, the more knowledge you have, the more power you have with dealers. So you have to, ha I, you know what I suggest people do? Somebody get it. And then you and two buddies split the difference. So you all pay 40 bucks each and you got it for the year. You break it up into three. Like right now I have it, but I use my friend Nick's. Uh, yeah, I'm a moocher. He doesn't, I, you know, I offered him money. He doesn't want money. He didn't want any money. So, I mean, I'm not going to tell him no, but that's what I suggest people do is, you know, like you need to know it, especially if you're buying and selling Just for instance, this guy who I'm an acquaintance with, we've had lunch together twice with, uh, with Nick actually. So he's not a friend, but he's not a stranger. He's, he was trying to do a deal with me. He wanted to swap. I suggested we trade X-Men books because I got X-Men 1 CBCS signed by Stanley 4.0. And he's got a, a CGC 4.5, not signed. He's interested in the autograph. I prefer the book not graded. I said, listen, let's swap it out. I, I get a half a grade bump, and you get the book signed. And it's a pretty fair trade. He was trying to quote me, oh, uh, your book is, uh, you know, yours, it's, it's going for 25, it's going for 2,600, and your book is uh, CBCS, so it's worth 10% less, and yada, yada, yada. He didn't know I have PGA, uh, GPA rather. And I just pulled it up and I said, listen, guy, you can't just pick and choose what you want to promote uh, to, to further your argument. Because, like, we went, I don't want to get into it. It's nonsense. But long story short, he wanted $800 on top of us trading the books. I told him, I said, my friend, do you, do you, we've had lunch together, right? He goes, yeah. I said, what's my name? He goes, Jimmy C. I said, go watch my videos. I don't pay retail. Never mind. $800 on top of that. I said, are you shot in the head? I said, when this guy dies, you're going to trade books for me and you're going to pay me 800 extra. So the deal's not going to get done. But, like, the guy's trying to get me to... And then I said, listen, how about if I sell the X-Men book and I pay you cash for yours? GPA on his book is $2,850, mind you. He says, okay. I said, how much you want? He goes, 3000 I said, well, if GPA is your friggin' Bible, why would you charge me $150 more than the GPA 90-day moving average? He goes, oh, that's my price. I said, I'll go take a walk, my friend. And that was it. I just laughed it off. You know, I'm not going to get angry. Like, the guy, I said, you know what? He took a shot. He thought, like, he doesn't know me well. He thought, like, I was eager beaver for the half a grade bump, and he thought he could make a few dollars on me, which I don't think is a nice thing, considering, you know, we're not, you know, we're, we have lunch together. But the kid took a shot, whatever. And I hope that was not a long-winded, boring story. But Jimmy C, out. Congrats, Big Easy. I'm going to try to do a couple other contest videos, but this one was the easiest one and the one, like, I wanted to do most, just because... It made me figure out what books I want to get graded, so it was double whammy good. All right, guys, take care.